Hi there, Elise Dewsbury here with my vlog, How to Get No Feedback from Elise, my 45th installment. Um, I just finished uh, the last two were telling a short story in a musical, telling an ensemble story in a musical. Today I want to talk a little bit about telling a global story in a musical. Sometimes um, you, what you want to do is you, you discover some aspect of history and you want to illuminate it in a story. Um, maybe you want to tell the story of World War II. Uh, maybe you want to tell the, you know, some some really really big big story, um, you know, oppression in a certain country or or you know the immigrant experience. You you have a big idea, and I think that's great. I think it's great to have a big global idea for your story. But I would urge you to remember that. Um, in order to tell a large, general, universal story like that, what you need to do is figure out how can you focus in on one specific, intimate, personal story that can illuminate the things that you want to illuminate about that broader story. So, you know, if you sit down and try to tell the story of slavery or the story of World War II, good luck with that because it's going to wind up being more of a documentary, more informational, expository. You're going to be having to cover so much ground. So I think what you want to do is look for a human specific story that in the arc of the lead character in that story somehow embodies what it is you want to say about that more general universal subject. You know, if, if it's as simple as you want to say war is hell or, you know, it, it, hopefully it'll be something, you know, more profound, deeper than that. But look for that specific story that can be put in the backdrop of your larger universal story, but you're going to tell a human story about people going through something, who want something, who, you know, do something to get it, and who um, either get it or don't get it at the end of the day. So concentrate on that. And I think you'll find, I hope you'll find, that in telling a specific story, you can engage your audience in a specific, because it's very hard to be engaged other than um, cerebrally with a really big universal story. You know, you can sort of sit back and observe it as a, you know, as a historian, as a documentarian. But, but in order to be really drawn into a story, you really need to connect on a human level. But I, hopefully what you'll find is, if it's your intention to tell that universal story, grabbing my attention, bringing me in and engaging me through a single human connection of a story will lead me to the conclusions that you want me to about the setting in which that character has lived. Um, I, I could give a million examples, but one jumps to mind right away since I was talking about war. The, um, the, the fairly recent movie, uh, I think it's called Jojo Rabbit, that takes place during um, World War II and is about a young, uh, a young Jewish boy. And um, actually, no, I'm wrong about that. He is, he's, he's not Jewish, but, the, uh, but there's a, a Jewish girl who comes to live in his house. And his sort of best friend, his fantasy friend, is Hitler. Um, and it starts out very amusing and funny because it's just his friend and he's just a, a German kid who's idolizing the leader of his country. And as he progresses and as he learns more about Jews because of this, I think she's a nanny who comes to stay with him, um, and he starts to see what's happening and starts to question it and therefore starts to question his best friend, his relationship with his fantasy best friend changes drastically. It is a very fantasy-oriented, uh, in-your-face provocative movie, and it is not a musical, uh, but we are engaged by the story of this little boy and his interactions with his fantasy best friend and his new nanny friend and how they come into conflict. But at the end of the day, by the end of that movie, you have been, and there are other characters and other subplots and things along the way, but definitely by the end of that movie, you know that that writer was addressing um, the, the difficulties and the atrocities of war and uh, intolerance, anti-Semitism, really big, big, big universal ideas. Homophobia, it is full of huge, big ideas. But we are engaged in the story on a personal level. We still leave the story at the end of the day with, uh, with a real understanding of the universal. So uh, my advice to you is if you, if you have something universal you wanna say, if you have a big, big story you wanna tell, great, figure out thematically what it is that you want to portray universally and then do your work to try and figure out what is a 
human story that people can connect to that will lead them on a journey that will make them understand the theme, your broader, more universal theme. So go for the universal story, but find the specific entrance into it. That's it for today. Thanks. See you next time and toodaloo.